Right, in this video, what I want to talk about is uh, the halting problem, how it relates to the existence of an Omnimax God. Now, for the purposes of this discussion, I only want to use one of the Omnima Omnis, excuse me, associated with an Omnimax God, and that's omniscience. Uh, for the rest of this discussion, it only matters that God have any degree of potency. He doesn't have to be omnipotent, you know, all-powerful. He just has to have a, be a little bit of power, any kind. Uh, and I, what I want to show here is that this kind of a God is impossible because it results in infinitely self-referential recursion. So, uh, when I say omniscience, what I'm talking about is not only all knowledge, but uh, what most theists mean when they use the word, which is all knowledge with the ability to perfectly and accurately predict the future. So, uh, if God can predict the future with perfect accuracy, then what we're assuming is a sort of a railroaded reality, right? Uh, you know, there's only one course history can take, and all of our actions are determined or predetermined, whichever you prefer, and there are no other actions we can take than those that we do. Otherwise, God is not omniscient with the ability to perfectly and accurately predict the future, and this entire discussion is pointless. Okay. So, instead of talking about God, I'm going to talk about computers. Now, we're already assuming uh, that determinism is true, obviously. So, if this is the case, couldn't we theoretically, but probably not practically, create a computer that could take in every known instance, item, variable, uh, put these in a programmer and compute it and uh, accurately predict the future perfectly? I mean, is this, isn't this is this theoretically uh, possible? It seems like it should be, right? Uh, it would do this and then display the results on a screen. Well, let's assume that it can. And uh, it predicts that Joe will murder Bob and then displays this information to the uh, determinism police. Ooh, you know. And they uh, intervene and stop the murder from taking place. Now, has the predictive machine failed to accurately predict the future? And does this mean that determinism is an impossibility? But the thing is, there's an inherent problem with the example as I've posed it. Uh, the construction of such computer is impossible. You see, it fails not only to take into account its own creation, but it fails to take into account its own prediction of the future and the results coming from that. Uh, had it done so, it would not have predicted the murder of Bob. But then the determinism police wouldn't have stepped in and Bob would have been murdered. We come kind of across a paradox, right? What's going on is an infinitely recursive self-referentiality. Uh, the machine would have to take into it itself into account in determining the outcome, hence the state of machine at any given time, must be within the state of the machine. It would constantly have to refer upon itself, and it would never be able to produce any results. The problem remains even if we turn this predicting machine into a robot that can act on its own without the need to tell anyone the results of its predictions. Its predictions would not take into account its own actions, therefore limiting the usefulness of said predictions to below 100%, or not omniscient. The computer is attempting to make perfect predictions about the universe while being contained within the universe. This is logically impossible. The only way it could perfectly ac the only way it could make perfectly accurate predictions, excuse me, is to remove it from the universe, in which case it loses any and all potency. It becomes only an observer. It can no longer interfere, give warnings, etc. It might as well not exist. It cannot be both potent and omniscient. I don't think I need to connect the dots for you.